Welcome to On the Record with Mayor Dave Geisbertz. I'm Erin Wolf. In this episode, we'll take a look at the progress that's been made throughout the city of Hagerstown since this administration took office. Thanks so much for joining us, Mayor. My pleasure. Now, it's been just over 10 months since you've been in office. What have been some of the most satisfying aspects of the job of being mayor of Hagerstown? Well, it's always an honor and a privilege to serve the people of Hagerstown. It's really exciting to be a part of all the different events that go on in town, to lead the city council in their discussions at city council meetings, just being a part of all the good things happening here in Hagerstown. This is the first time you've held an elected position. So what are maybe some of the challenges that you've encountered that you maybe hadn't anticipated beforehand? I think it may not have been completely unanticipated, but the biggest challenge is really trying to find balance between all the various interests in the community, as well as on the city council. And trying to bring people together in order to take action, I think, is the biggest challenge. So you knew coming into office that downtown redevelopment and revitalization was a major priority. I think the city's been criticized by both the media and members of the community saying that the city hasn't done enough for downtown. But how have you seen progress being made in our core? Well, I think the city is doing all it can to make the downtown better in cooperation with partners who also share the same interest. So what we've been doing is uh, making investments in properties that we're trying to uh, revitalize uh, that are currently in blighted condition. One example would be the old Holiday Motel that recently was demolished and is now being marketed for redevelopment. We have 4353 West Washington Street which was recently acquired and plans are in the works to update those buildings and get them back into private hands. And we're also trying to encourage the transfer of ownership of other blighted buildings to get them into the hands of folks with the kinds of capital and, uh, and vision that, again, goes along with what we have in, for uh, downtown. We also have the new library coming on board. Also, the city is still focusing on its arts and entertainment district and really helping to advance the Maryland Theater as the anchor of that district. And so uh, the city is strengthening our relationship with the Maryland Theater and has provided funds for uh, some really substantial improvements that are occurring there. In addition, I think the uh, First Third program where we're uh, helping private investors uh, make the investments that are necessary to renovate and improve downtown properties. All the ribbon cuttings that we've done in the last 10 months, I think we've done up to 28 now. Many, many of those have been downtown and many of them are restaurants. We now have almost 20 restaurants within the first two blocks of the square. When we get outside perspective on things, uh, when people come in from out of town, for instance, the Food Network, when they came to town, I was uh, communicating with some of the producers and they said, we've never been to such a town with a, such a great downtown. And I think that speaks volumes to the assets that we have here. There's a lot of good stuff happening downtown that sometimes gets overlooked by the challenges we still face. Now, when you take a look at the, at the larger picture, the, the citywide accomplishments, what are some of the positive things that have happened since this administration has been in office? Well, this council uh, has really taken a lot of action in many areas. The first thing uh, that we did when we came into office was give the county a really good deal on the old Army Reserve building for the new senior center, which is now underway. We hired a new police chief. We passed a balanced budget with no tax increase this year. We have developed the dog park at Fairgrounds Park. A lot of other things uh, with the water and sewer, uh, capital upgrades so that those uh, remain reliable and uh, efficient services for the uh, citizens of Hagerstown. We approved a million dollars for the melt plant to go towards the redevelopment of that area. The Invest Hagerstown program that I mentioned earlier, which is trying to encourage private development by putting in some of the city's money into those uh, redevelopment projects, I think uh, we are making progress along those lines. So there are a lot of things already that we've uh, undertaken in order to move our agenda forward. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you for your insight. Appreciate it. No problem. 
And don't forget, you can watch mayor and city council meetings live on Hub City 25. That's for Antietam Cable subscribers. Just check the city website, hagerstownmd.org, for the meeting schedule. The meetings are also available on demand on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash cityofhagerstown. Thanks so much for watching.